What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with the promised Opcan and Optray Z uh, update that I was going to give you guys. Um, I just really botched the recording. <laughs> so uh, I might struggle a little bit here at the beginning just because it was really funny. I just like shouted, it's like midnight for me, like 1 2 in the morning for some of the guys in my unit. And it's been dead quiet in team speak. I just shouted really loud in everybody's ear. <laughs> So anyways, getting into it, uh, like I said in the last video that I had for Operation Trebuchet, uh, I want to talk today about uh, Opcan Optray Z, so we're going to get into it here. Um, we're actually going to start off with this Opcan stuff here, and we're going to go on over. So I've gotten a relatively small sampling of Opcan here. If you guys aren't familiar with Opcan, that's the uh, long-running separate add-on for Operation Trebuchet, which adds in... A whole bunch of retextured units and stuff, and uh, it's been around pretty much for about, I don't know, like a year, year and a half. Uh, it's been around a long time. It's been around almost as long as the mod itself. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's uh, done by a guy named Burgess, who actually at one point was actually on the mod team. Um, and he's put in a ton of work recently on uh, all sorts of variations and stuff like that, and we're going to just uh, check those out right now. So, uh, up first we've got uh, the Colonial Police Editions. Uh, this is actually a suggestion I made to him. And uh, he went like way above and beyond on doing these. Uh, so, you know, I want to actually throw this into my uh, cinematic camera here real quick, guys. And we're going to check these out a little bit better. So, you guys can see, uh, this isn't all the vehicles for these. Bear in mind, there's extra Warthogs, Pelicans, Falcons, all sorts of stuff. So, uh what you're seeing here isn't everything. Just keep that in mind. There's different units with different weapons and a few different looks, camouflages, things like that. So the first thing we've got is, you know, like your colonial officers, uh, police officers, like SWAT. Um, you know, you kind of got your, like, leaders with the uh, colonial uh, police cap. And you got the sniper without the fe face shield. Um, you got your sheriff's department so he actually went out and he's got some like custom stuff he's created specifically for the mod too um if i can get in on here they use the atlanta falcons logo which is because obviously they use the uh the one hawk here we've got probably one of the coolest additions to this and this is something i'll actually probably cover separately a little bit later in the video here um we've got morthons uh, Halo 3 Marines in here. So I want to talk a bit more about those later, but uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, in the background here and in, in the foreground, we've got some Colonial Militia guys. These are the uh, CMA. Um, the guy on the left here is Standard. This guy's Special Forces. Uh, they've seen some updates recently. They've been in the mod for a little while now, but uh, they've got some custom helmets and stuff that at one point they were using just the Standard... Uh, standard helmets like this guy right here just retextured uh so they've since gotten custom helmets of their own uh they've gotten retextured vanilla vehicles this one actually looks a lot like the uh transport vehicle they actually use in the halo universe so that's a really cool add-on uh i think this guy's part of like the pmc is what they have going for him this is one of the earlier editions so i can't really remember too well uh, we've got a few different units from like his criminal expansions. So these guys are supposed to be kind of counter to the cops down there. Uh, these are just supposed to be kind of like your average, well, slightly above average criminals. Um, got a UNSC Army Warhog in the back. Uh, you got some Rebel Pelicans and APCs and Falcons, all sorts of other stuff. Oh, you know what? I think this guy's uh, this guy right here is UNSC Army. And this guy is the uh, the PMC guy is what it is. I don't know why he's sitting back there, though. Uh, we've got Halo Wars Rebels. Uh, he's recently also added a whole bunch of extra Rebels that he didn't have before. Um, they're kind of inspired by, like, the Halo Last Light book, which I'm actually just starting to read myself. Uh, so this is supposed to be kind of like his interpretation of, like, the Gal Battle Jumpers and stuff. Uh, they're kitted out with uh, ODST helmets with, like, the Rebel logo and stuff. And these are supposed to be, like, the elite uh, Rebel forces, kind of above and beyond the like, kind of ramshackle Rebels that we see, uh, you know, kind of down there with these criminals. Or even these guys are a little bit more organized for the Halo Wars ones, but 
A lot of the rebels we've seen prior to this point are using old armor, stuff like that. Um, some more rebels, kind of from the same faction, just the less elite versions. Uh, we've got a few different camouflage variants. As you can see, these are all taken from the auto riflemen. Um, of course, all the uh, things like sunglasses and stuff are all randomized here. But uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a mash of like two different helmets that he's just combined together. If he just uh, took part of the helmet and just stretched it out. I'm not really sure uh, what he did there. And then uh, here, oh gosh, what is this guy? I think he's like Militia. So you can see it's got like one of the standard Armor 3 helmets combined with some of the Halo armor and some of like the CSATs, uh, like officers' uniforms, like all retextured. And uh, just it makes for kind of a neat combination. It adds a lot of different stuff to it. And as he adds on to it, it gets a little bit better and better, you know, just a little bit more unique to it. So it makes it stand out a little bit more. Uh, my personal favorites though, are the Colonial Police. That just that face shield came out so cool. Um, moving along though, we're gonna keep looking at some of these vehicles here. And uh, so, like I said, you got Falcons. He's uh, just recently retextured the Wyvern from the uh, Arma Three Apex or uh, yeah Apex expansion. Uh, I think this is the militia vehicle and Falcon right here. Uh, you get several. Uh, various civilian vehicles uh, some of those and then we've got the opcan stuff down here so before I get into this too far uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at the opcan stuff and then we'll actually go back out into the menus and take a look at this stuff so the first thing that we want to look at is actually in my hands here so I'm gonna actually back out real quick and you can see that the MA5K is in game uh, this one's definitely in better condition than the sniper rifle so the sniper rifles had some issues uh, since I did my last video on it that were kind of discovered and they haven't been fixed yet. It's kind of random issues. Uh, the biggest problem with this one is the shadow is just a box. Uh, so it looks really bad when you look down at the shadow. But um, this weapon is freaking beast. A lot of people don't like it because it's um, very specialized. You know, it doesn't. it's not as versatile as like an MA5. But um, it's not supposed to be. It's, a stri it's essentially a stripped down MA5. But this thing is awesome for like close quarters combat. If you use like a double weapons mod or you're doing like a lot of uh, close quarters combat stuff, this thing's awesome. I don't know if I have any earplugs. I probably don't. Yeah, I don't. But uh, we're going to get deaf here for a second. I mean, you can just see this thing. So it's a probably bigger clip than the... Uh, than the SMG, I think I'm not positive on that. That might that's just a guess, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Runs through ammunition. If I were to have like a squad guys here, I'd just be wiping them out right now. Um, we've got the missile pod. This one was kind of a sneak add-on. A lot of people probably don't even know this is in. I know a lot of people I've talked to didn't know this was added at all. Uh, this got added in as a static weapon under the actual normal UNSC stuff. Uh, it's essentially it's a tow missile, but you have to lock on for it to be of any use Because you can't aim it down like you can't aim it up or down all you can do is just swing it back and forth like this which I Don't know why that is but it is just the way it is Pretty neat uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like against uh, v aircraft in a minute here and then we've got the um, the bison that was one of the biggest additions here uh, the bison still got a, a few flaws itself which are probably gonna be a while before they get fixed since uh, Zephyr Soza has been working on some other content uh, it maxes out around 50 some miles an hour if you go in a straight line for a little bit it takes a little while to get up there too it's not a very very fast vehicle um, it's a little bit bigger than the other IFVs too so we're gonna just try to get this up to max speed here for a minute so you guys get to so you kind of an idea what this looks like. Uh, so this is the interior of the vehicle. You can see back into the crew compartment. Um, I didn't know how this would turn out. It came out pretty well. My biggest issues are with the screens. Like that's okay. That looks good. That's, you know, that's a good screen. That's a rear view of the outside. It's this screen here. If you're supposed to be in first person, this screen is supposed to be your like main screen for looking out. You can't see it. Um, 
that seems to be an issue related to like resolution or something from my understanding. Uh, it's just a problem with Arma. Uh, if you right click you get this screen so it kind of works but you can't look around which means that you know if you're in here you can't look down and see these screens you actually have to like exit to like see these screens and then like right click back in I don't know I just I would prefer to be able to just like see where I'm going in this view and then just go from there but uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop this for a minute Let's see it takes me at the stop ears are still ringing here uh, we're gonna open the cargo door works pretty much like the Pelicans does good to look at it from the uh, outside here we're gonna go ahead and get in the passenger seat you can tell it's pretty cramped back here but that's okay it's not a big deal uh, biggest gripe is that you can't chew out the back if you're in these back seats but you're so close to the other person I'm not sure if you'd want to be able to do that or not um, Let's go ahead and get in the gunner seat. So, just like in the driver's seat, in the gunner seat here, you get a screen. Uh, the screen is very off on this too. You really don't want to use this screen. Uh, you also get cameras for what's in the front of the vehicle and what's off in back of it. And as you can tell, those are fairly accurate too. So you know what's going on in front of you and behind you. Uh, your biggest thing is side to side. You really don't have any way to know what's uh, going on on each side of you, so you just have to kind of keep your turret swung back and forth like this. Uh, you know, once again, if you right click in there into that zoomed in view, you get to see a lot. Now, this turret, I don't know how to feel about it. So you get two, two tow missiles, which are both fairly awesome. Um. Sorry guys. So you can see, well, you can't see because there's so much debris. Uh, you can see the tow missiles fairly effective for like killing people and stuff. Do not fire. Uh, it can blow up vehicles and stuff. Uh, I took out that pelican in one hit, but I think that's a chain reaction off that warthog exploding and the first missile uh, because I shot. Uh, two of these into one of the pelicans down there and it didn't destroy it earlier. Um, let's see here, I want to try something. So you can see the uh, the cannon's super broken. <laughs> uh, the cannon is 90 millimeters, but like just the shockwave of the cannon will kill infantry. Uh, it does take a lot more for vehicle. Now bear in mind, I want you to hit this pelican down the end. It takes four uh, rockets from the Spanker rocket launcher to kill a Pelican. Um, two of those can be fired in pretty short order, then you have to reload. So, the reload time on this is longer than it would take to relock. Uh, that actually blew up pretty quick, so I don't know. Maybe it depends on the angle, too. Uh, I had a lot of shots were like deflecting and stuff like that. See, shoot at the ground. Shots are deflecting off. Uh, that one... I don't think bounced. It didn't look like it. But you saw that first one, did I did notice that a lot with that first Pelican I was shooting at in my tests here is that these shots were bouncing off of it left and right. You can see the tracers going out. So uh, it's a pretty neat vehicle. Uh, it does slow down water, and if you're driving in the water without like jumping off or something, it will actually continue to go straight in across water. So you can use this to like cross lakes or something like that, but I wouldn't advise it. You can't speed up, slow down, or, um, you know, turn anything with it. You just basically you're stuck going straight. Uh, half this crew compartment becomes filled with water, which looks terrible, but it's not a big deal. It's not like you're driving around drown. Uh, so let's take this in a 5k here. We're gonna make some marine. So you can see uh, that wheel didn't go flat. So we're going to switch over to the sniper here, and we're going to also grab ourselves a rocket launcher. We're just going to perform a couple of uh, other tests. And we're also going to grab this. Now that should have some ammunition in it. Check that here. 
doesn't seem to, so we'll have to get that fixed in just a minute. Okay, so these uh, sniper rifles here, the original one from the game, can pretty easily disable most vehicle wheels in a single shot. So, four shots, that tire is not disabled. Uh, let's see here, I don't think we have any vehicles. No, oh yeah, we got one more hug left. So, it could be Optray, I don't know, because I've done this before with other vehicles. It's usually fairly easy to wipe them out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back in and we're going to get some ammunition here, but not from that. Uh, let's go ahead in here. And we're going to reload that rocket launcher. Still kinda close, but that's fine. Alright, so let's head back. We're gonna take a quick look, see what that did to it. It's smoking here, so took some pretty good damage. That's for sure. Um interestingly That's interesting, I'm still getting a lock on even though the vehicle is destroyed. I've never actually tried to lock onto an already destroyed vehicle before, I guess that just it works for everything at least from the uh, mod. So... I took one rocket, but I'm not really sure how well that actually seemed to have worked. So we're going to go back into the editor here for a second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run a couple more tests here real fast. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put myself on this turret here. And we're going to look at some of the stuff. So we're going to switch back to OpCan. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys. Uh, so we're going from OpTrayZ content, this stuff right here. Uh, back into OpCan for all this stuff, and we're going to get ourselves a uh, vehicle. Um, so let's look at what OpCan actually adds. So OpCan adds these common criminals, which adds, you know, these uh, these guys here. Halo Wars Rebels. You have variety of guys. Uh, this OpCan Warzone Red. Uh, I'm pretty sure... The United Rebel Front one is theirs, or the Insurrections. One of these two is theirs, and one's the original mod. I'm not sure which is which. Uh, they added Air Force, which we're actually going to use this Pelican from it. Actually, not that Pelican. Use this Pelican. We're going to place that over there. And we're just going to look at the rest of this stuff real quick. You get a pilot. You get that wyvern from right there. You get those battle jumpers, which includes a several uh, different guys. And you get some variations of the uh, guys right here that I showed off. And then there are some ground vehicles you can get, which is the Type 10 Beetle, which is a uh, retexture. I think this thing's a Tigris. Is what that is. I can't remember if that's a Tigris or the Tigris is a little bit different. And then uh, the same vehicle you see for like the CSA, you get some uh, rebel versions of those, Warthogs. Uh, so a lot of stuff there, and that's just what's under uh, Op 4. Blue 4, you also have a bunch of stuff. Uh, ONI Security, Opcan, 
All this stuff is theirs. I think UNSC is theirs. Uh, the only thing I'm not really sure about is like if you go to UNSC and then you go into UNSC DF, it's, it's the same vehicle, so I don't really know why he's got uh, basically copies of all the original stuff. As you can see, like, he's got the Corman and stuff in there. So I'm not really sure what the purpose of that is. That's some of his, like, really old content, too. Um, going back out of here, this uh, UNSC MC, that's the uh, Halo 3 stuff. Now, I will say, as of right now, and I think it might have been patched already, uh, one of these does crash the game. It should not be any of these from the selection here, but it could be. Uh, if it's any of them, it's going to be the urban one. So here's a look at the uh, Halo 3 armor a little bit more proper. Like, actually, let's use the uh, woodland one here. Uh, so in addition to that, we also got uh, two new other items. The M90 shotgun, which is another one of Morthon's creations. And that one we've shown off before. So this is the actual shotgun in-game. And then we've got this uh, radio backpack here, which actually will work too. So we'll look at those in a little bit once we get back in. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that's been added. Now, as for the uh, Optray Z stuff, we're going to get back into Optray Z for a second here as we get in to check this out. Uh, the APC, the Bison, can be found under APCs under the original mod stuff. So UNS, CDF, APCs, and Bison. Um, and the turret can be found under turrets or um, static or something like that. It's, in this case, it's actually saying turrets. Uh, so, as for the weapons, uh, those cannot be found in any of the containers. So you actually have to get those through like the editor or like an arsenal type of deal to be able to access those as of right now. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, get back in game here, and do some damage. Maybe. Okay, so here you can see we're uh, zoomed in. I actually can't get out of this mode by right now. But you can see lock on and Pelican's trying to get out of there. Two rockets, it's smoking pretty bad. Three, smoking really bad. And four should do the trick. Four did not do the trick. Uh, four did do the trick. No, no, it didn't. So actually, oh. So, for some reason, the rockets are no longer hitting there. Just like that angle is really weird for him. So, uh, five rockets to shoot that pelican down. So, it takes a little bit more than the uh, spanker, but... I mean, it's Ace 2, so there might have been some goofy stuff going on with the damage, so just bear that in mind. Um, I totally forgot to take these guys out. That's why they removed is uh, these two guys were independent factions. The uh, PMC and the Militia are independent factions. So we're going to switch back into... Uh, op can for a second here back from the op -Z stuff and uh like op -Z, not everything in it is accessible easily you'll need an arsenal of some kind or uh, access from the editor to get these things in game uh that includes some of the halo 3 gear so before we get too far i'm gonna pull up the m90 which the m90 is in kind of a goofy goofy spot it's actually down here it doesn't have any image so there's the m90 shotgun and then I gotta find the Halo 3 radio because that one's actually got an image, I think. Maybe. But I don't see it. 
Sorry about the ringing, guys. I do apologize. Okay, so here it is, down near the bottom. So there's actually a few different camouflage variants of that, too. Uh, ignore that one. So green's obviously kind of the normal one. We'll go with black because, uh, you know, we're Oni. And, uh, you know, let's throw on some Halo 3 gear so we can look at some of that stuff, too. Uh, so as you guys can see, there's a ton of stuff in here. This is all original mod. Anything that you see at that Arma 3 logo uh, is actually... Uh, Operation Trebuchet, anything with like the puzzle piece is op can. Uh, so you can see there's like the colonial militia uniform. So like I said, a lot of these are, you know, you can get them off of the people or place it through the editor. Um, but it should all be accessible through the, uh, the arsenal too. So a lot of different stuff. Colonial police uniform, sheriff's uniforms. Um, like I said, as of right now, I'm not 100% positive on these Halo 3 uniforms. Uh, just be careful with them. Uh, and these say Halo 3 uniforms, but these are actually old textures prior to the Halo 3 Marine uniform being in. Uh, so they're just retextures of the standard army uniform. The Halo 3 one is the M52B. He's got some original game like camouflage. He's got a lot of different camouflage. Like this you won't find uh, in game. This one you won't find in game. You have to actually get these through the arsenal to be able to apply these. Um, CSAT Tropic. So there's a lot of stuff you might see in here that you're not finding like when you're going to select your guys to place them in the editor. That's because it has to be selected through a virtual arsenal to be placed on them. A lot of... Uh, Conventional camouflages, not everything's based off game or it's based off of older stuff. Got multicam, NATO, ONI. Like an old school woodland camouflage. Getting back into some of the other stuff here. We're going to go with ONI. And then the uh, M53 is ODST, so we want the M52B, I think is what it's called. Oh. There's a ton of uh, ODST stuff, too. He's got, like, a ton of uh, custom ODST things he's made for people. Um, so, like, Hussar, uh, Kodiak, Phantom. So, a lot of stuff he's actually made for units. We don't want that stuff, though. Here it is, M52B. So, he, he's actually made some custom variants of this, too. Morthon made the actual armor, but he's actually gone back, and he's made a... Looks like he's already got a custom thing for it, too, for the wolf pack. But um, he's actually gone in and, like, added pouches and stuff like that. Uh, he's modified some of the helmets already besides textures he's actually like placed extra pouches and things on some of these variants too uh, so that's always pretty neat uh, we're gonna go with the O and I variants and then we'll go down and look at some of these helmets he's got here so I'll just kind of go through a couple of these ODST helmets uh, if you guys have been playing for a while chances are most of you have opcan already if you haven't checked it out definitely check it out uh like i said adds a ton of stuff adds a lot of customized uh units and special things you know for a lot of people it's going to increase re replayability because you're not playing against those same guys over and over and over uh, so those are the odst helmets got some uh blisha helmets and stuff oh you know, there's some stuff at the bottom here, too. He actually just went in and he added some dress uniforms for the Marines, Navy, and Army. So, you actually get the dress caps for, like, the Navy and stuff like that now. Get some different braids for everybody. So, you get your Halo 3 helmets. Um, with and without goggles. So, like, right here we've got the uh, Opcan CH-252B, which is the Halo 3 helmet. G is for goggles, and then CPD is uh, Colonial Police Department. Or we could go G with its goggles and comms 
from the Believe campaign. So we're going to go with the uh, goggled variant. We're going to get out of here. So you can see in first person these goggles don't affect uh, your UI at all. You're not seeing an orange screen, anything like that. So that's pretty nice too. Uh, same thing with like these face shields. Uh, they don't affect anything. So that's very nice stuff. Uh, let's see here. You can see it's actually transmitting on the radio. Uh, so that radio works fully. Uh, now the shotgun, I've noticed a couple problems with it. And I think some of this should have been addressed or patched already. Like it wasn't making noise for some people. Now, one thing I noticed is that, like, and we'll finish reloading here and see if that got fixed. Yeah, see, so I fire one, uh, one shot off, and then he's got to reload the whole thing. So that's not really great. Um, I'm sure that'll be fixed at some point down the road. It's a very slick-looking weapon. Let's uh, let's check it out here. I think I don't know what kind of rounds I even have in. Uh, got pellets and I don't have any slug rounds on me. So we're going to try pellets out from over here and see how effective they are. So I mean, that's fairly close for armor though. Uh, and that's the thing is if you guys aren't familiar with uh, shotguns, there's two kind of rounds. You can get pellets and slug rounds. Pellets are the ones that spread out. Those are like the conventional ones. And then slugs are like what you'd use for like longer distances. But you can see even out here, Pellets are just messing people up. Oh, shoot. I just like my natural reactions to like reload after like every time I kill somebody. So a devastating weapon to be sure. Yeah, I like I said, I forgot to like set these guys not to move or anything, so that was my bad. Hold fire. Wow, he survived that with minor torso damage. What a trooper! Hold fire. There we go. That's two birds for one stone. So, uh, yeah, that's the OpCan and OpTrayZ content. Um, so, like I said, once again, to recap, the MA5K, this turret, and the Bison all come from OpTrayZ. That's made by Zephyr Souza. She's actually part of the dev team. Um, all the stuff in here is in an incompleted state. It's all early release. Um, she is always looking for feedback on it. And uh, just bear in mind, though, that when you're going on there, if you're going to get feedback, just remember it's not finished yet. Um, she might know what you're telling her is wrong. She might not, but just bear that in mind. Um, and then OpCan is made by Burgess and <laughs> includes like a bunch of retextures, uh, some custom models. He's finally started to add in recently. Uh, the Halo 3 stuff is in there. More importantly, I know that's a big thing for a lot of people. Uh, the Halo 3 stuff's made by Morthon. Some of it's been edited by Burgess. So there's a lot of stuff added in. Uh, these are both awesome mods. I highly recommend them if you don't use either of these when you play. Uh, I highly recommend both. Um, yeah. And that's OpCan, OpTrazy, and that's the updates. That's what they've got going on right now. Um, chances are I won't do future or uh, separate videos like this in the future. Uh, but it just kind of depends on at what rate information comes out and stuff like that because uh, you know I'm not going to go through if I'm updating saying there's like 30,000 things going on with the main mod I'm not going to go like look at each individual guy I mean that's much for even for like right now where I'm talking about separately but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure to like subscribe and share it with your friends uh, if you guys want to see more content like this just let me know in the comments below uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video take it easy